Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. Uh, someone was asking about having no weather in my world. Yeah, I have my share of weather. I usually sleep in through the, the morning rain. But yeah, that's uh, time for another episode. I apologize for being behind. I've been under the weather. I've been trying not to force myself to actually do stuff. But what I want to do today is I want to try to get a little more situated. I've been thinking about setting up a, a more permanent establishment yes this tiny little modest thing was something i just threw together to try to have something uh, i do realize i will have to get resources i've noticed that they changed the drop pod there isn't doesn't seem to be any ore deposits here and i don't want to actually disassemble this I, what i want to do is i actually want to build my base around this and i sort of have an idea of what i want to do um i will have to find some parts i could probably go over to the the wreck over there my microphone's in the way, I can't see it. Uh, and grab the parts from there, but we could also do a little bit of adventuring and go check it out from there. Uh, see what we can find for his ores to go. Uh, it was also mentioned too about adjusting the, sp the suspension. I am aware of that. I, it was a temporary thing. I haven't decided what I want to build yet, so I might as well bring this up a little bit. Just so it's a little easier to drive around. Don't need a low rider, not in this terrain anyways. That's the wrong button. All right, so um, I don't think I can scan here. Uh, there are a few things we can go check out. We can actually go check out this alien wreck. Uh, that's one of the things about me not doing too much survival is I haven't really done a lot of this exploring. Uh, let me just move the microphone out of the way a bit so I can actually see the compass. Okay. Uh, what would be nice is a small little block, like a little scanner block you can put on your vehicles that can actually give you an overlay of, you know, things like beacons. Ooh, got some airtime there. Beacons and wrecks and stuff like that, but on the ground like how the scanner tool does. Let's say a scanner block, for instance. Because that's actually a really, really good idea. I do like it. I should be grabbing all the stuff while I'm here. But I want to go see what's over here first, uh, besides a cliff by the looks of it. Hmm. Okay, it's not too bad. I remember in the days where there was big giant holes and tunnels and caves that you'd get lost in for, for days and days. Oh, one of these. Cool. Oh. Oh. Ah, something over there, too. Oh, that's, uh... Teleport. This isn't actually a monument, though. I think I found one of these in one of my survival worlds. Now, the question is, is this going to hurt me? Apparently not. Alright, let's uh, scan away. And see what it tells me. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, it's just telling me it's basically the same stuff as the monuments. Alright. Check refinery for more information. Oh yeah, the power cells. That's right. Uh, I do have to be careful. What is this? Oh, that's the, the beacon. Oh, cool. Free stuff. I don't have inventory space. Uh, of course. Uh, hmm. Decisions, decisions. Superfood. Bandages, ooh. Let's actually use that. Try to take what I can here. All right, we can make new stuff. Get that out of my way so I can actually see what I'm doing here before I get attacked. Hmm. That's actually a lot of resources I do not want to get rid of. Let's get rid of the sleeping bags. Take that and one other thing. Hmm. can always make more of those. All right. And I guess I could always come back and get get that stuff later. Do I have a container on this thing? Probably not. Can I make a container? I'm sure I can. Yes, I can. Okay, and do the old X maneuver. Uh, I do have a new mouse, by the way. It's a little clicky, but the mouse wheel is so quiet. I love it. Okay. 
All right, we got storage. Let's go put this stuff away, and I'll actually go get the rest of that. Because I didn't even think about doing this, because I'm an idiot, and I haven't played this game in some time. So let's go get the rest of my stuff. Uh, I'll see if I can actually scan that nest while I'm here, too. Can I reach it? No, I can't. Hmm. Let's be brave. I may regret this. Can I scan you? No scannable. Uh, okay. Oh, fireflies. Let's get out of here. Anyway, uh, where's next? There's a monument close by we go check out. I was looking at the map earlier. There doesn't seem to be too much. There is a beacon over there. Maybe we'll go head off that way. Go check that out. Okay, and let's see here. Let's actually zoom out, and we're going to go... It's actually a bit of a ways. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go around and just gather up some iron and carbon and whatnot, and I'll bring you back when I get back home. Okay, I'm back. It's actually the next day for me. Uh, kind of got dark shortly after I start, stopped recording. Uh, I've been running a lot of fireflies around here. so. But I thought I'd come by and check out this wreck, see what we have. Uh, I've been sort of thinking about uh, what I'm going to do for the house I'm going to build. This is all it is. Really. Let's uh, hop out and have a look, shall we? What do we have here? Anything to scan? No. Anything else to scan? Can I scan a bush? No. Can I scan the rain? No. Anyway, uh, let's see what we actually have here. Anything useful? A container we can open up. Doesn't look like it. It's free parts. This is the thing, right? Yeah. Oh, there's a, there it is. Aha, we can scan it. Does it actually give me anything? Like a story or anything? Uh, huh. Okay. Apparently technology that wasn't actually supposed to be on the ship to begin with. Anyway, I'm going to dismantle all this stuff and I shall find some inventory space and bring you back when I get home. And I have returned. So I did pick up a a little more uh, carbon and silicone along the way. I uh, will have to make some glass. And so what I want to do is... I've been thinking about the layout. and I'm thinking it still will work. Uh, just because of the way the, the ground is. But I want to build sort of the base around the, the pod. This will be basically the center of our base. be our homing beacon, for instance. And I do have plates on me. Okay, so... As far as the color goes, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do, so I'll probably just go with the gray for now. And I want to sort of space it right, so it's one, two, three, so probably, I'm going to say about here. Should be good. And then just go around. And I know it's going to be sort of uneven. I'm actually wondering about this now, just because of the way the ground is. If I come out all the way out to here, let's actually see. Let me get a ring around here and we'll have, have a look at it. Okay, well, I have a rough area, rough outline set up here. Uh, sort of what I'm going for. It's a little bit bigger than I thought it would have been, but it should work out. I'll have to get some sort of something covering the inside, but I'm going to sort of go with this. There's going to be a bit of a wall. Uh, so I don't know if there's a little bit bit big now because I want to keep the crater in here uh, but this is off center so I got one two three there and then three on this side and then same over here so with the pot in the middle got three on that side three on this side if I go into five oh there's an auto save go five it basically cuts the crater off like that I want to sort of keep it like this as I was originally thinking of having like a walkway on the inside with railings going around, maybe set of stairs coming down to the pod, and then have all basically the wall here, and then maybe two or three la layers out. 
Uh, I do need to get some stuff pretty being produced. Uh, one of the things I do, one of the things I want to look at doing is getting a better tool. So we might have to look at the armor right here. Uh, did I not have the big printer set up? I don't know. Let's check, see what the objectives are here. See what we can build. Uh, uh, that's that. I already did the printer 2.0, so let's get out of here. Let's go ahead and actually start getting the printer going. Alright, it's already on the hotbar. Okay, let's get out of here. We'll go to 8. And the color should make this make black just because. Oh, what do you know? I actually have enough parts on me. <gasps> wow. Alright. Uh, let's see. Put that in there, and that in there, and that in there, and I'll get the rest. And we'll put that in there as well because I gotta get plates going. Uh, I wanna have a look at the armory at least, see if we can get a better. A uh, mul better multi tool would be better, so it more inventory space, so would everything else. Alright, let's see what we can do here. I gotta start getting a bunch of glass going too. Uh, we can always dismantle this, but there's not a whole lot here right now. It's just a temporary spot. And I forgot I had a locker. I should, act I should actually check to see what I have in there. Oh, I got some iron. Could always use iron. Alright, uh, hmm. What's the recipe on this? Oh, they changed that. That's cool. Don't actually need carbon now. Ooh, I like that. Alright, make a... hundred of those, and a hundred of those, and... Let's see what our objective is. It's a bon appetit. Clean water and processed food. Okay, let's all go ahead and actually take that up. Uh, well, we got to do the armory too, so maybe we'll do the armory. Uh, where is it? That's the med bay. Uh, <laughs> That's water purification system. What do we need for that? It's relatively cheap. It does need power though. Hmm. Armory, armory, armory. If I was an armory, where would I be? I'd be locked behind so many things, it would take you a month to figure it out. I must be missing things here. Unless I actually have to go and scan it. There it is. See, I know what I'm doing. It just takes me a very, 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 very long time to figure it out. And... I'll just put that here for now. Oh, I actually have enough parts for that, too. Okay. Objective complete. Jetpack, suit, and a multi-tool. Oh, what do you know? It just happens to be what I want to do. Print like, printer like no other. What is this? Oh, really? They actually changed that. Hmm. It's actually in here. Probably not, because I probably got to print it, make the ALMs first for it to unlock. But that's cool. Anyway, uh, this needs power. Let's go ahead and grab an extension cord and see what we have here. Okay, a suit is expensive. Jetpack. Oh yeah, we can make those now too. Okay, that's doable. All right, well, uh, it's dark. Let me get some stuff printed, and I'll be back when I'm ready. Okay, so I got everything all in here ready to go. So we can go ahead and make a suit. We can make a jetpack. And we can make make a new multi tool. And that will take a few minutes. I do have a whole bunch of stuff all printed ready to go, so we can start expanding. Uh, one thing I do have to do too is find some clean water, because uh, i have got to make clean water to fill up this quest here. I've got the food, I can make that. Just got to do that one. Uh, and then, what, what is this one again? Just got to scan the animals. Okay, uh, no big deal. Anyway, uh, what was I doing here? I was... 
I was having a brain fart there. Um, hmm. I think I was doing something here. Hang on. Well, I originally forgot what I was going to say, but, uh, yeah, so I started sort of expanding this. I've gone three wide, so like I said, I was going to have the wall here, uh, the inner wall there, and the outer wall here, and it's basically going to be the living space, so I'm going to have a different areas for different things. Try to keep it open concept. I may or may not expand to here. We'll see how it goes, but, yeah, I ran out of uh, frames, so we'll have to deal with that, but our task is complete. So let's go ahead and get our stuff. Our inventory is full. Oh. Okay, and that, and two more minutes on the tool. So let's go in and get ourselves an upgrade. Oh, and, and get me out of there. I don't want to lose that. I know it won't despawn. Nothing despawns in this game, as far as I know. Oh, that is so much better. And now we have a better suit. Uh, I feel a little bit more safer actually checking out that monument when the time comes. Uh, let's see, that is still another minute away. What do I have? Do I have any iron here? No, I don't. And what do we have in here? 45 frames. Uh, still making plates, too. Anyways, I'm going to go finish this up, and then uh, I shall return. Okay, that's done. And so should my multi-tool, hopefully. I do have a couple of batteries. I probably have to make a few more. Just in time. All right. Objective complete. Oh, wait. Uh, gear up. There we go. All right. So now I actually have to equip this. We'll do that there. We'll put the scanner on number two. And go from there. Now I have nine batteries. So let's actually see how good this thing actually works. Now... Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. So, T does go to the emergency no matter what. And we gotta reload. Let's see how fast this is. Oh, so much better. But, yeah, that is that. And I'm out of plates, which means I have to get more plates. Uh, it is raining, so I'm gonna fill up what I can, and then we're gonna go look for some water. Well, good news and bad news. Good news is the rain has stopped. The lightning has been freaking the hell out of me. Uh, bad news is we're out of iron again. Go figure. Uh, so, yeah, the tool is working good. I got some of it, and I was going through a lot of plates, so we're going to have to get more iron. Uh, I have been thinking about the whole mining situation. I think I have an idea of what I'm going to have to do. Uh, no spoilers until the time comes. Uh, but anyways, do I have any food and water on me? No, I do not, but it is in here. Grab, uh, use that, and use that. I am tired, but I'm always tired, so deal with it. Okay, I gotta find water. I didn't actually pay attention for that. Uh, it should be somewhere close by. Uh, I cannot check on the map because I have to build the radar first. Should be relatively easy to find. Fortunately, I know where my home is. Big gaping hole in the ground. Well, let's see what we can find. Usually there's water pretty close. I think it's over here. Is that water? No, it's not. That's anti-water. Okay. Another thing I noticed, too, I was checking out the map on the other side of the world. There is actually an SOS all the way down here. That'll be a fun one to get to, considering I'm on the largest planet size. Uh, has anybody seen any water around? I oh, know I could do it with a cheaty way, just dig a hole in the ground and have water there. Yes, I have been through here. Get over that, please. Ah, thank you. And yes, I do have an idea for... Uh, ...tree cutting purposes. Whether or not it works or not, who knows. That's why I do these things, to see if they do. Now, if I could just make my way through these trees. Yes, I know driving in first person would be a lot, so, lot much, so much more easier getting through the trees, but where's the fun in that? And this is weird. I do not see any water at all. Got to be some. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, where is the water? 
Not a tree. Ugh. Let's not drive up the tree. Anyway, I gotta find water. I'll be back. Okay, I found. I don't know how far away we are. Almost a kilometer. That's a bit of a ways down. Hmm. How do I find the safe way down? Well, uh, it's not like we're gonna take the car's gonna take any damage. It's just if we flip it over, we gotta actually rebuild it to get back up or mess around with a winch and all that stuff. But I don't have any parts on me, so I can't really do much. Well, I do have parts, but not not much. But here we are. Ye old watering hole. And this is gonna be a while before I find this place again. I don't have to take as much water as I can. Uh, I have lots of inventory space, so I'm going to start slurping, and I'll see you later. You know, I think it's been a while since I've actually seen one of these trees. It actually reminds me of one of the first things, one of the, not one of the first things, but uh, it's a screenshot someone had posted on Steam a, while, a couple of years ago. It was this new player, he saw the fruit up in the tree and didn't know how to go up there and get it. I uh, thought it was pretty. It was a pretty cute picture. I've never actually. I don't think I've actually gathered these things before. Don't get much for it, but that is that. I've been going around looking for some more iron. Uh, don't have a whole lot. I got another stack or so in the car. But I saw this tree and I thought I'd check it out because I've never really noticed uh, the whole firefly effect around food sources. Well, I have, but not in the beginning. There's, there's my rover. But anyways, I thought I'd show you that. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So I got about, uh, well, I should probably grab those actually. Got about two and a half stacks of iron, which is good. And got some carbon. Don't really need that for now. So let's go get some more whole bunch more plate sprinting. Alright, do that and that and we'll just do another oh, add another hundred on there. Ooh. Uh, go down to sixty. Yeah, we're gonna have to get some mining going pretty soon here by the looks of it. Alright, that is going, so what is next? Oh yes, uh um, 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 oh yeah, the green box over here. Food and drink machine. Alright, so we need water. I picked up two stacks of water and carbon. And we'll go ahead and make ten of those. Get that in there. We'll go ahead and make five of those. Probably should be making these, but I didn't get very many herbs. So, uh, yeah. So that is a part of that objective complete. Where is it? Bon Appetit. Now we just need processed food. And we will just do that and get this over with. Now, what else is going to be on the agenda? A printer like no other. The advanced ALMs. Well, we're going to be printing for a while because I have a lot of filling to do out there. We're going to have to get some mining going. I have <laughs> no idea where anything is being unlocked right now. Okay, there we go. We have that objective complete. Next is going to be printer like no other, which is the level 3 ALMs, which is, or level 2 ALMs, which is titanium already. Wow. Uh, we might have to do some exploring eventually. But yeah, uh, let me check something here. Okay, well, we've got a little bit of time. I queued up. Uh, bunch of stuff in there. I got some plates and some glass going. So what I think we'll do is maybe we'll go check out that monument. Where is it? Over there. Go give that a scan. I'm sure I can survive. I probably should take a nap, but rest is for the wicked. And I should be Rip Van Winkle then. Anyway, let us head off and see what kind of unforgiving terrain we have to deal with. And I'm just going to go out and say this right now. Whoever mentioned about my my world not having rain or weather, bite your tongue. Because I don't think it's stopped since I've actually started playing this recording session.
Well, I think I had about five minutes of daylight. Then it went to rain. Yeah, this is why I sleep in. It's always raining in my world. Uh, we are going to be here soon. Um, I have uh, messed around with the scanner a little bit more, and I started figuring a few things out. And uh, I am aware that I need to start upgrading, updating my my guides on Steam. I will be doing a guide for the scanner. Just a little tutorial because it's kind of, I won't say 100% self-explanatory, but I did figure a few things out. And we'll go from there, and we'll probably be able to, I'll probably be able to show you one of the things pretty soon here, once we get close to the monument. Uh, the icons, ooh, I'm gonna actually grab that, just because I'm desperate for the iron. Okay, hop back in. Alright, so the monument is over here somewhere. There it is. Uh, I'm a little worried about radiation here. I'm also worried about anything that might want to try to kill me right now. Okay, now the scanner. When you do the right click, now the question mark will let you know that it hasn't been scanned. Now the blue are the geodes, the little crystal sticking out of the ground. Uh, the rocks are the rocks themselves. The, the red, I don't know what that is. We might have to go check that out. Uh, purple's apparent, obviously monument. All right, let's uh, see if this is gonna hurt. Make sure I got no poison plants or anything. Cause I think there was supposed to. No. That is a scanner. Oh, battery helps. See, I thought there was supposed to be radiation around here, around these things. Oh, what's going on here? Uh, structurally, the monument seems to be a symbol from several types of crystalline materials and a, power, and a powerful element known as xanite. It is well determined how old these structures are. It is of note that the structure is warm, slick, and lacks structural damage or other signs of organic infestation and natural overgrowth. Cool. Now, the question is Am I going to get hurt going near this? No. It's in here. Uh, collection a lot. Okay, well, let's go ahead and add that. Uh, uh, something to do with father. Storyline. You can always read that later. Let's get that and. Oh, there's the radiation. Oh, jeez, that's this thing. I gotta put it in the buggy before it kills me. Yeah, now I know where the radiation's coming from. It's a thing I'm actually carrying. And I'm hoping. Being in there, that should be okay. Or do I actually need like anti rat tablets now? Uh, apparently, I gotta sleep that off. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm gonna check that out. I'm gonna check out that red thing, wherever it was. It's over there. There's a few of them. Are those creatures? I don't know. Let's go check it out. I do believe it was this way. Problem is you can't actually use a scanner inside. Okay, so basically right ahead. She stays out for a few seconds, but that's about it. I'm actually curious to see what the red thing is. I'm assuming it's gonna be hostiles. Probably a nest, I assume. Yeah, it's a nest. Is that it? Yeah, yeah, animal nests, okay. Good to know, good to know. So we did that, we did that, and yeah, I guess meet you at home. And back we are. And hopefully everything should be crafted by now. Uh, I'm starting to realize this is going to be a very expensive house to begin with. But that's fine. We don't have to get it all done today. This is sort of why I've been building modestly, as some might say. Alright, glass is still being produced. 
Let's see if this will actually cure, help me. It does, okay. <laughs> as soon as I stop, hopped in there. Okay, so we got glass, plates. Uh, need more plates. Tried to pick up some more iron, didn't really get too much. Uh, but, I think we might have to end up calling this here because I'm gonna have to go and get some biomass to make batteries. Actually, have they changed recipes of everything? Well, of course they have. Yeah, biomass. Fun stuff. Anyway, uh, like I said, I'm gonna call the episode here. I think uh, good place to call it. We did a little bit of exploring, learned a few things, uh, got radiation poisoning, but second episode and I haven't died yet. That's always a good thing. Anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.